Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Today, gonna be starting a brand new series on my channel. Now, I did a similar series to this back in Call of Duty Ghost. That was probably uh, one of the most successful series that I have ever done on my channel. And this series is gonna be how to get a DNA bomb. And back in Call of Duty Ghost, I did how to get a chem strike. So, uh, since it's you know, a new Call of Duty, new hit and kill streak, um, how to get a DNA bomb is going to be this series. So episode one is this episode and this is probably the most important episode uh, where I'm going to have some of the best tips and some of the most useful tips that are going to help you out um, the most to help you get uh, the DNA bomb, the, you know, the big goal, the hidden kill streak, the thing that everyone is trying to get right now. Um, and this is probably definitely the most important episode. So um, the class setup. What should you use on your class to help you get this super difficult kill streak? Now, as far as the weapons go, um, that is completely up to you. You know, whatever weapon you are most comfortable with. Personally, I would recommend using an assault rifle like the AK-12, the BAL, uh, the HBR, whatever assault rifle you're most comfortable with. That's what I would recommend using. This game uh, is absolutely dominated by assault rifles. Almost every single person uses one, and a lot of the maps have a lot of long-range sights and everything like that so a submachine gun really probably won't help you out the best uh, but if there is a submachine gun like the ASM-1 or the KF-5 uh, that you're extremely comfortable with I would recommend using that you know whatever gun fits your play style the best go ahead and use that for the DNA bomb now there is one attachment that I think that you absolutely need really no exceptions um, that will definitely help you out the most and help you stay off the radar and that is suppressor suppressor has been in pretty much every single call of duty and this is by far in my opinion the most important attachment for getting on long kill streaks because you know staying off the radar and just being completely like anonymous in the game and having no one know where you are is absolutely key because if you look on the radar and you see you're not seeing your little red dot and then you look at the scoreboard and you see someone's like 20 and 0 you know you want to find that person so whenever like you see a little red dot go off on the map and then you see they get a kill on the kill feed you know right where they're at so having the suppressor keeps you completely off the radar and it's absolutely key when going for a DNA bomb so I absolutely recommend that um, you know that is like the one thing in this class setup that I would say you absolutely is completely 110 percent necessary now the secondary is pretty much up to you. Personally, I don't really use one. Um, you know, I don't really find it necessary, and I don't find it using as much uh, as I would use like another attachment or another perk or maybe even another kill streak. So uh, I probably wouldn't use a secondary. But once again, that is up to you. Now, perk one, the perk one slot is another thing that I would see you absolutely need, and that is low profile. Low profile completely keeps you off the radar to any UAVs or anything so uh, that is extremely extremely important especially with this game you can have a support UAV so even if you get like 150 deaths which you get 10 kills you know you still get that UAV which is absolutely ridiculously almost overpowered that you can get UAVs like that so a uh, low profile is absolutely needed because it keeps you off the radar when so many people have UAVs you know in this game there's almost a constant UAV so, um, you know, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to run low profile. Me personally, I would run perk one greed and throw on flag jacket just so I don't die to any grenades or anything like that while I'm on a kill streak. Now, for perk two, I would go with blind eye. Now, blind eye is really the only useful perk in perk two. Peripherals is a good one. Um, you know, it's it keeps you off the radar from um, kill streaks and stuff like that. So if someone gets like a sentry gun, a support sentry gun too, because once again, you can get like 20 kills and 150 deaths and still get the sentry gun. It'd be a shame to die to someone uh, who got a sentry gun that way. So Blind Knight is probably the best perk too. And now perk three is where it gets tricky. You definitely are gonna want scavenger because scavenger, really, you're gonna need ammo. You know, you're not gonna get a 30 kill streak just with your gun and not having to get more ammo. So scavenger is an absolute must. And then the other one, if you, normally I run perk three greed out absolutely say that's pretty much necessary uh, whether you want to run blast suppressor or toughness is completely up to you me personally I run toughness just as I feel like that is really uh, important I switch it up though so blast suppressor is definitely one of the best perks in the game um, it keeps you off the radar when using your exo abilities because whenever you dash or anything like that it puts you on the radar with a little like ping little circle um, so using that keeps you off the radar when using your actual abilities and it makes it quieter so you're harder and more difficult to sound horn stuff like that so 
Uh, the EXO ability in the EXO launcher or the grenades, I don't think those are really necessary. You can use an EXO ability if you would like, uh, like EXO stem that gives you more health when you're in a sticky situation, or EXO overclock which can get you out of a sticky situation. You know, you can use those, but uh, it's not really necessary. You know, you definitely can go on a big kill streak. Uh, without it if you want an extra perk or something so uh, the grenades aren't really necessary you know you don't really need a grenade you know I, the grenades in this game I'm not gonna lie they they kind of suck dick so uh, you definitely don't need one um, going into one of the most important things in this class setup is the score streaks now uh, if you're going for a DNA bomb you can't really call in like a war bird have that kill like 15 kills for you and then get 15 kills with your gun you be like okay got my DNA that's not really how it works so you need to get all 30 kills with your gun so you want kill streaks that are gonna help you uh, get those kills and really the only two kill streaks that really help you get kills with your gun is a UAV and the system hack now um, a lot of people like to run support UAVs, but when you're going for a DNA, I wouldn't recommend it because adding support to your UAV adds an extra 300 points. And whenever you're on a kill streak, you're going to be getting a bunch of UAVs. So um, you'd rather get a lot of UAVs in one life on that big kill streak than you know get a, a UAV before it because you went on a death streak or something like that. So running support UAV really isn't a good thing um, when you can run like extra time or something like that and actually get it sooner than you would with support. So I wouldn't run a support UAV, but I would definitely say that a UAV is necessary. Now for the next score streak, and really the only other one I would recommend is the system hack. Uh, the system hack makes you a lot harder to kill because they have a big giant skull in front of their screen. You know, their HUD's gone, everything like that. It really confuses the enemy. Not only does it do that, but it makes their exosuits make kind of like a fizzing sound. Almost like water starting to boil or something like that. So um, that can help you out a lot. It helps you sound whore easily if you have a decent headset. And it makes you a lot harder to see and kill. So uh, with those two kill streaks right there, you really can... Um, go on an effective kill streak. It can help you take a kill streak and turn it into an even bigger kill streak, which is necessary when going for a DNA bomb. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like for more videos in this series, how to get a DNA bomb. This is one of my favorite series to make. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it with me. So subscribe for more advanced warfare content. Go ahead and drop a comment down below on your favorite DNA bomb class setup. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.